Hello and welcome to our video series on WordPress. Now in this video we're going to be showing you the basics of how to configure your WordPress blog. Now remember as you're watching this video you can always use the pause and rewind buttons below the screen to watch and rewatch this video until you have this task mastered. So let's get right to it. Now, of course, the first thing we need to do is to log into your WordPress blog. So head over to your admin area and log in now. And once you're logged in, you'll come up to the dashboard. And then over to the far right of that tab is a tab that says Options. Let's go ahead and click on the Options link. And that's going to bring us to the General Options table, where the first item is our title to the blog. So just enter the title you want for your blog and under tagline just enter a short description of your blog and the URL for WordPress and the URL for your blog address is going to be basically the same and now under the email address just put in the email address you're going to want emails to come to you know, like your email address. And here you select the membership option that you want. And the next item, select the default role for any new user. And here you want to enter the time that the blog should defer by. and you want to in this box specify the default date format and if you're curious as to what these letters mean boy I sure was uh, there's a little link right here that says um, documentation on date formatting just click that and that will answer all your questions And then once we've entered all the information here click on the update options button and voila we're good now that was the general tab now the next one over is writing tab let's go ahead and click on that now under writing options you want to enter the size of the post box and next you want to select the formatting options that you want Then you select the default post category. Then select the default link category. And here you want to enter the mail server. And if you're not sure, your web hosting company should be able to answer that question for you. Likewise with the port. And usually that's going to be 110, usually. As we scroll down a little bit here, I want to enter the login name. And the password. And here you want to enter the default mail category. And when we've got all that in entered, we just click on the Update Options button here. And up here it shows that the options were saved. Now the next tab to the right is Reading. Under the Reading Options table, first we want to select the Front Page Display option. Then enter how many maximum blog pages to show. And you can always play around with this. I'd usually just leave it at 10 myself. Then enter how many the most recent posts to show. And select what to show for each article.
Now you can enter the encoding to be used for pages and feeds. And once you've done that, we go over here and click on the Update Options button. And everything was saved. Fantastic. Now the next button to the right, or next tab to the right, is called Discussion. Let's go ahead and click on that. And let's review this page. Here we go, the Discussion Options table. Now up here at the top, it's uh, select the Settings options for an article. And the next one down is select the email options. As so we scroll down a little bit further, and select the comment options that we're wanting. Once we've done that, we can enter the queue size to hold a comment. And then once we're happy with our entries, we can just click on the Update Options button. There we go. And that saved all of our changes. Next tab over from Discussion is called Privacy. Let's go ahead and click on that and see what we have. There's really not a whole lot to this one. Select the Blog Visibility option that you're happy with. and then click on the Update Options button. And this shows that the options were saved. Now, the next tab to the right of Privacy is called Permalinks. And here, we select some of the more common options. scroll down a bit and here we can enter the category base. And once we're happy with our entries just click on the update permalink structure button and we can see that that was saved. Good deal. Now then the next tab over in the last tab is called miscellaneous. Go ahead and click on that and see what we have. There's no whole lot, not a whole lot here. Now here we want to enter the folder name where we want to store the uploads. And then select whether to organize uploads into month, year based folders or not. And here, we want to select the Track Links Update Times. And here we can select to use my Hacks PHP file support. And once we're happy with our selections, just click on the Update Options button. And that's going to just about bring us to the end of this uh, configuration video.